DJ S with the Fix Factor. You already know what it is. I'm sitting here with uh, Jermaine Dupree, and he brought along a guest this evening, and I'll introduce him in a few. But I want to welcome to the room right now, Jermaine Dupree. What's going on? What's up? I'm feeling good. And you have with you Rolls Royce Rizzy. Yeah. What's going on? Formerly known as Rolls Royce Rizzy. Okay, so what's the new name, formerly known just as? Just take the Rolls off. So it's just... Royce Rizzy. Royce Rizzy. Yeah. yeah. Just because, you know, Rolls Royce, they ain't having that. So so what <laughs> what suggested the name change? Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce? The, the company. company. <laughs> oh, was there yeah. like maybe some legal action going I on? I mean, it would be if, you know, if he becomes lucrative and they see it. I'm sure it would become a problem. So with you being a businessman, you just thought far ahead and said, let's just avoid well, any I mean, problems in the future. You, you, I mean, you just can't use it, period. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, no, nah, we can't really use it at all. You know what I mean? It's almost like the Biggie Smalls notorious big thing. Like, you know, when he came out as Biggie Smalls, he came out in his mind as Biggie Smalls, but... Mm-hmm. To the world, he couldn't use that name. He couldn't use that name. So this is kind of like maybe the reintroduction of uh, Royce Rizzy? You could say that. You could say, say that? Yeah, I say that. Well, I know a little bit about you, but I want people to get to know about you. So I, I've read somewhere that you grew up in the military. So although you're from California, you moved from place to place, and you even spent some time in Tokyo as a kid, correct? Yeah. Okay, so how was that experience? Does that add to the music? Um, I think it is. I think, I think it's going to one day. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, just being... Being overseas, being a American kid in a foreign country, mm-hmm. so like you got to see different culture and you got to be open to new things. But I don't think that I've got a chance to incorporate that in anything that I'm doing yet. But I think one day it will, though. How is the 2014? Yeah, yeah, new album, new, new album. singles. I mean, it's the, it's the, you know, it's that's what it is. You know, what I mean, it's like even when people when they I, I heard somebody say that today about me. They like, yo, you back doing what you do, and I'm like, back. Never love. I mean, you know, I think we live in a society where if you like take a little uh, creative break, because I guess that, you know, if you look at what I do, that's basically what it is. If I'm missing for three, four months or even a year, it's I'm creatively trying to figure out my placement. You know, what I mean, I've always been the person to, you know, find an artist that fits a lane that nobody else is in or create an artist that fits a lane that nobody else is in. I follow you on social media, especially Instagram, and I love how passionate you are, especially with this long career. You know, some people just lose their passion and their enthusiasm about things, and you're still very passionate and enthusiastic. With a new artist like Royce Rizzy, and um, say even working on J.E.'s new project, what's most exciting about working with a new artist or with a new project? Like, what sparks you? Um, The fact that you can, you know, the fact that you... Always like you know if you read Instagram, which and everybody else is read Instagram. There's always these messages that people post on Instagram, and I don't know if people really pay attention to them, but I pay attention to them. And a lot of times that the messages that people post on Instagram is says things like, you know, take today. Like if we lose tonight, somebody posts in the morning like, use today, make today the best day of your life, right? And I don't know if people really take that into real, you know, real consideration of what actually is being said like you can change anything and everything in your life with one day and you can change any and everything in your life at what time that you choose to do it right so when i when i when i start working with like a new artist i look at this as like i could rewrite history with with, with rizzy if we do the right thing i could rewrite history with jagged edge i definitely can rewrite history with jagged edge because where R and B is right now to me is in the same stage that it was in in the '60s, where people weren't really they were stealing it and giving it to white artists, and they were actually not supporting the artist that was actually making the music, right? And the artist that was actually making the music only got a crumbs and didn't really get treated right. And then it was this guy from Detroit named Barry Gordy who was determined to see this change, right? That's my idol, as everybody knows. And, like, I feel like I'm in that same position. I don't want to actually be like, I want to redo what Barry Gordy did. But I feel like I'm in a position to rewrite what he did. He did it one way. Now, if I can bring R&B back to the forefront or get it back into people's life the way that it was in the 90s, and people say that I was one of the people that ushered that in, then I will go down in history as that person. Royce Rizzi kind of gave us the backstory on how you discovered him and came and found him. I want to know from you, Jermaine, like, what sparked you about Royce Rizzi as an individual artist? Like, what just stood out that maybe no other artist had at the time that you saw 
or maybe it was something that you heard lyrically like what just was like yeah well with him is multiple things like the first when i heard goddamn like that's basically how i talk right like if you're from atlanta or you know i won't say everybody from atlanta don't talk like that but the south side of atlanta in college park and the west side we all talk like if somebody called my phone, they saying, "JD, where you going tonight?" I'm going. I think I'm hit Magic City. Goddamn! Like then we gonna, uh, <laughs> then we gonna goddamn go to. Uh, like that's just how we talk. Like every word is <laughs> part of the lingo. Yeah, it's just part of the conversation. That's so, serious, what's crazy for me is that I, you know, I'm I'm Atlanta. So for me to have not made a song like this flip my wig and then for also I'm like why did I think yeah, of this? why didn't I think of this and then like why didn't all the other people from Atlanta make a record like this because this is exactly how we talk like this is like you know and I had the young bloods I've had bone crush I had franchise boys I didn't had every Atlanta artist under me that had I should have made this song you know I Rocco Rocco even signed so so deaf he, this is a type of record that he would have made. Like Rocco's known for lingo. That's his thing, right? And that's that's the first part that caught me is the fact that who is this kid that's talking like me? Like he's saying stuff that I would actually say. Oh, Magic City, goddamn. Relatable music. Yeah, right? So that was the first part. Then um, it was funny because he... Um, he he always wanted to come to the studio once I learned what I got the record, right? And he hit me like, yo, I'm pull up on you. And this before I even understood what, um, uh, <laughs> that that was the new word in the streets, by the way, that everybody was saying pull up. And I'm like, why you keep talking about you going to pull up? Like, you outside already. Like, you know what I mean? I was thinking, like, this little guy is just, <laughs> he's determined to come to the studio. And I'm like, all I did was like your song. I don't really, you know what I mean? I don't know what you, he's like, y'all need to pull up to the studio. Let me pull up to the studio. Y'all over there working <laughs> in the studio? And pull, let me pull up. So if I post an Instagram picture, he's seen us, and y'all let me pull up to the studio. And I was like, this dude is determined to be a part of this, regardless of whatever it is. That was the second part that I liked about him. I was like, you know, he's he's really determined about it. And then then he got a fan base. Now, if you got a fan base that's 15, 20, 30 people, you you have a fan base. It doesn't always have to be 2,000, 3,000, 40,000, 100,000. That's what you want it to be. But it's got to start somewhere, right? And when I tweeted about his record, his fan base, now either it's, it's his great promotion, I don't know what it was, but they tore my timeline up. Like, J.D., yeah, if you get on this song, nigga, yeah, do, 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 do. and then Scrappy hit me, and I'm like, Scrappy never hits my timeline. This <laughs> much that's got people that's going to, you know, in, that's going to be engaged and talking about him, and a song <clears throat> that people like. Okay, so he got a song that people like. He got these guys that dance around Atlanta dancing to it, and he got, <laughs> he got my timeline going. That sounds like something needs to, we need to have a conversation here. So that's when it got to the point where I'm like, Okay, let me talk to this guy and see what the hell is going on. Because, I, you know, once again, I'm like, I'm thinking, okay, maybe this is something really rumbling in the streets that that ain't hit the radio. It's on the college circuit. Like, whatever it might mm -hmm. be, you have to ask and go into that world. So that's what I, you know, I approached him with that. And he said, what's up with So So Deaf? And I'm thinking... You asking me about what's up with social death? That means you 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 want you want to come to social death or what you want you be. So I'm thinking, okay, at this point, all right. So here we go. So, like I said, I've always signed the Young Bloods, Franchise Boys, Bone Crush. I, I I saw this as the 2014 version of me releasing more records like that that I've that people know me to do. So, um, and then once I met him, like I said, his determination is 100 percent real. All of Magic City got down, got down, got down. Pull up in the right, got down. Got two yellow with me, got down.